Okay, so it is our first day with all of you here on Good Day LA. And by the way, thank you for letting us be a part of your morning. Yeah, it's such an honor to be a part of your morning and to wake up and to begin our day together. Kind of feels like the first day of school a little bit, except it for does. this time I'm not wearing socks and sandals. Oh, you're not wearing socks and sandals? Oh, but you're or wearing am shoes. I? She is wearing shoes, everybody. I am, yeah. yeah. We have that. <laughs> well, Jen and I, though, we have worked as an honor team for a little bit now, so when they asked us to interview each other as a way for you to get to know us, we didn't think we'd learn anything new, but we did. Take okay. it You have been an educator, mm -hmm. an administrator. What's something that you have always wanted to do, but you haven't done yet? Be on Broadway. <gasps> that been, was immediate, yeah. I've been close, because um, I'm an actor and I'm a singer. Right. a naturally gifted person when it comes to performance and singing and dancing. Has that always been something that you've... Yes. <laughs> when, when did I you was... start singing? When did you start dancing? Oh, God. Okay, so when I was a little kid, the top three things that I would get in trouble for... Mm -hmm. <laughs> singing. I was always singing. Yeah. Not being able to keep still <laughs> and talking to strangers. Um, what's your biggest fear? Besides Zumba? Um. <laughs> Wait, hold up a minute. I had that planned. I was taking you out to go Zumba. To Zumba no, you class. are not. Please do not. Please do not. Zumba spiders. Not necessarily afraid of death so much. Mm. I mean, it's a part of life, especially, you know, now getting married to an ER doctor and seeing that, hearing the stories firsthand. And, and failure isn't even a big fear for me anymore. Because if you've failed, you've tried. Uh, beautiful. You know? And I think that's one of the bravest things to do, is, is to just go for it, even though you, it might make you feel uncomfortable. Totally. Uh, or insecure. Totally. Just go for it. What is a hobby that you love, but you don't like to admit? <laughs> Watching <laughs> reality. Well, I don't know if this is a hobby so much as it's a guilty pleasure. Okay. Keeping up with the Kardashians. Ah! I'm so hungry. I don't have time. We can go to any restaurant. I like that too. I like reality I'm TV. I'm sorry. I love them. What is the best advice you have ever received? Uh, I would say, and this is from my Good Day Wake Up co-host in New York, Sukhani Krishnan. She said, people in your life are like tributaries. They enter your life for a reason, but as you get out into that big, deep ocean, that's you. Ooh. That should forever remain unchanged. Ooh. So it's almost like reminding yourself of who you are. And, and a lot of times in your life, you have to really dig deep to, to, to figure it out and to, to remind yourself that, you know, I'm the same Jen that I've always been. This is who I am. And this is what I'm proud of. And it's that common saying, people are there for a reason and for a season. And it's okay. Not everyone's in your life that's meant to be there forever, but they're there for a reason. I feel like these are the three keys to success. People just want to feel seen, they want to feel heard, mm -hmm. and they want to know that they matter. Right. And they want to know that they're important. And I feel like everything in our lives shapes us and molds us into the person that we ultimately become.